is it too much to ask for someone to just respond to a question of yours through text? I mean, come on, it's not that hard. I mean, so, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's a pet peeve of mine, I, well, I guess it can say it's a pet peeve, I have this pet peeve where if I'm trying to get in contact with you, and I see that you read the message, but you can't take the time to answer it, you know, that pisses me off because it's like, a lot of people say, oh, well, that's being a stalker. No, that's not being a stalker. If an app such as Messenger or WhatsApp, even Instagram or uh, other social media sites, you know, if even your own text messaging system, if you if you're able to do so, you know, if your phone can let you see um, sent and delivered and read, you know, great. Um, if that if the app allows you to see that, then no, it's not stalking. That's the app allowing you to see that. Well, you know, I have this pet peeve where if I'm trying to get in contact with you. And I see that you read it, but you can't give a moment to to answer back. Then that's wrong. I mean, you had time to read it. You have, you obviously have enough time. Oh, I got a message from so and so. Oh, what does so and so say? Oh, so and so says okay, okay, blah 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 blah. I mean, if I had time to read it, I have time to write a message back. You know, that that's just me. You know, and. My mom's the same way, too. I'm sure there's other people out there. And, you know, like, I kind of hate it when it's either I'm trying to hang out with a friend or I'm trying to work with someone, excuse me, on a project that, I mean, you can, uh, what was it? Excuse me. You know, I'm trying to get in contact with you, like, hey, what time should I come over? Or, hey, are we still on? You know, things like that. If you have time to read it, answer back. It is not a big deal, you know. Now, if it's someone you honestly don't know, then that's different. But if a friend's trying to get in touch with you and you happen to have made plans for that day, you know, answer them back. If you're not feeling up for it, I mean, just say, hey, not feeling up for it. You don't have to go into details. I mean, just recently, about a couple of weeks back, I was going to hang out with a friend of mine. And, and they even said, hey, would you like to hang out? They said it, you know. I've been meaning to hang out with them for a while, but they never budged. And then last week, they, they said, hey, would you like to hang out this weekend. I said, yeah, you know, shoot, heck yeah. You know, why not? Uh, you know, do you know what time and where? They said, I don't know. Um, and I said, okay, well, uh, let me know when that day comes. Or let me know what what the time comes. Saturday comes and I texted them. My first text to them was like sometime after afternoon, like literally like sometime after 12. Like, almost close to one. And, uh, I texted him some random, like, fact that I, uh, that I read on a Snapple cap of, I don't know, some random fact. You know, hopefully, hoping that, okay, I can get, uh, something out of them. Uh, so, for two whole hours, I did not, uh, hear from them. I was like, okay. And the second time I asked, hey, uh, would you like to, uh, hey, uh, are we still on for today? You know, something like that. Uh, another two hours passed and I said, hi, I guess, you know, me making my guess your, um, your, you know, you must have slept or something. Uh, let me know. And I'm like thinking if by eight o'clock they don't answer back, I guess it's a no. But then again... I didn't get anything to like literally after eight o'clock when they're saying, yeah, today's not a good day. You could have taken, I texted you about three, about three times out of the whole day asking you if we were still on. 
I mean, come on. If y'all aren't feeling it, just say, hey, not feeling it. You know? Even I said, well, if you would have told me, I would have understood. I mean, we could have rescheduled and things like that. I wouldn't have gotten mad. Yeah, a little disappointed because it's been a while since we hung out. But I wouldn't have been mad. It's just, I don't know. If you have time to read it, you know, then answer back. I mean, don't go someone all because you're not feeling it. You ain't feeling it. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, now if the other person is giving you a hard time because you don't want to hang out because you're not feeling it, then that's on them. But, I don't know. Just I, just be considerate in my, you know, just be considerate. That's all I got to say.